This is my first tuna. Yes! Panama, home to the finest coffee in the world, a notoriously whorish nightlife, and shady, shady financing. Remember the Panama Papers? Oh, and they have this big canal too. But we're here for fish. Panama is renowned for giant, world record, snap the rod, pelagic monsters. We're talking giant fish. So our motley crew from Black Rifle Coffee has flown south to hunt with a giant killer. Adam Fisk landed the world record marlin from a kayak, a 500 pound fish in a real deal old man in the sea situation. We're here to fish with Adam and try to get a piece of that action. They dug the big ditch in Panama for a reason. It's a thin sliver of land, the southernmost spit of Central America that runs from Costa Rica to its South American connection at Colombia. 480 miles long and 37 to 110 miles wide. It's shaped sort of like Italy if the boot was one of those pointy cowboy boots Mexicans seem to like. The heel of the boot juts into the Pacific Ocean and stands just a few miles off a massive underwater bank, Hannibal Bank, that hardcore saltwater guys know as Marlin Alley. And that is where we are now after a seven hour bus ride, exhausted, but ready to fish. This is our home base to fish marlin, tuna, giant kubera, and anything else that takes the hook. Tuna fishing is a combination of glassing for birds and dolphin, then a boat race to where the action is popping then a sprint to get ahead of the action, to cast big lures and poppers into the surging school of fish. When you miss, you might get a second cast, but more often than likely, it's a boat race to reposition, get ahead of them, and cast again. So we're looking for yellowfin tunas. Um, the telltale signs are big schools of dolphins. Sometimes there's thousands of dolphins all together. They'll be shoulder to shoulder, jumping, jumping, jumping. That's a telltale sign that they're chasing bait and those tunas are gonna be up chasing bait with them. Shots at it, you don't get one, you reposition and try again. Uh, you look you look good, let me see your drag. It's got a little lip on good. Yeah boy! <laughs> Oh, that sounds. Hey, Gancho. What do you mean? Yeah, casi. Bueno. I don't know. Yeah, bro, 
caught up. My daughter. Get that, get that lure. What a beauty. We've been smashing them on that lure all week. When a tuna hits, it's the start of something like a fist fight or maybe an arm wrestling match. Tuna can burst to 30 miles per hour. They run hot, literally, with a high body temperature that feeds what is essentially their all-muscle body. Tuna runs so hot, in fact, that some tuna captains will tell you the meat can actually cook itself. There you go, buddy. That's the idea. There you go, back home. Fuck you guys, I'm come, going home. Come to your home on the boat. My name's Kevin, and this is my first tuna. Pretty amazing. He's uh, giving me some PT, which I enjoy. Here he comes. Oh, no. Oh. I got naked. Oh, my gosh. What? How is that? Number two, Kevin. Start pushing. <laughs> okay. We got a Jonah on the boat, guys. It was a nice warm up, fellas. <laughs> Tip up, tip up. Nice, Kev. Tip up. Yeah. Good. Send one out of it. Send one out opposite direction. Where's it? Oh, this way. Yeah, this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to wait for it to turn on. Let him do another pass. Go, go, go. Oh. 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 Yeah. yeah. It was super awesome. Especially after the bittersweet. Uh, yeah, what was it? The longer fight. Two, three got away? This was, yeah, two got away and then this guy. And this guy close to the boat. Yeah. yeah. Look at the fucking rainbow on that. It's fucking beautiful, beautiful animal. All right. All sashimi. Just try to send it past. Watch your head. Fuck yeah. Hold it tight, hold it tight. Okay, good job. Yes! Action is hot when you find fish. There's nothing like it. But it can take days or even weeks to get on a tuna bite like this. Our dumbasses just happen to time it right. This, I think, is why so many fishermen go religious. There must be a god or gods or the universe at hand, they think, to collide them with a biomass of fish that could be anywhere in the 400 billion cubic meters of ocean. Like most prayers, fishing prayers largely go unanswered. As the old saw goes, it's why they call it fishing, not catching. But if you stack your odds, like pooled coins in a collection basket, like traveling to Panama, like timing the season, like timing the bite, like working with guides like Fisk and Clinton, sometimes prayers go answered. Then, the Chapel of Poseidon seems to morph into something like a porn set. It's physical, wet bloody. That, my friends, is tuna fishing at its best. Church pew boredom that sometimes pays off with meat and money shots. Oh, 
good boy. All right. So this is one of the biggest tunas of the day, uh, probably around 40 pounds. All right, so uh, tunas give a, re give a really good yield. Uh, Lance was telling me they even up to 70%. So you get a lot of meat out of these guys just for, just for one fish, like compared to a grouper or something that's, that's significantly less. Catch a lot of tunas, you're gonna end up with a lot of meat. All right. And that's about it. You see a little sunlight through that top part. Next week, bye-bye gas engines, hello hamstrings.